In this video, we're going to take a look at several new enhancements to the direct offline processing workflow in Nuendo 8.1. Let's take just a moment and clarify what we mean by direct offline processing. Now, direct offline processing is a very cool new way to work with plugins and effects. And once you get the hang of it, direct offline processing saves you time, saves you effort, and saves CPU power. In a nutshell, Direct Offline Processing, or DOP, allows you to apply plugins and audio processes directly to a clip without having to add the plugin to the mix console. So for example, think about being able to harness all of the sonic firepower of Reverence, but without the CPU load of having an instance or several instances of Reverence loaded into your project. Direct Offline Processing lets you manage and edit clip-based effects using an inspector-style interface, but without having to load the plugins into your project. Let's look at an example. So with the Direct Offline Processing window open, when I select an event like this purple event here, you can see and even edit all the processes which are applied to it. And in this case, that's Remove DC Offset and the Limiter. But look what happens when I open the Channel Settings Editor. There's no insert, there's no strip effect, no send effect. And yet I can still come back to the direct offline processing window, select the limiter, and watch what happens if I arbitrarily turn the output value all the way down to zero. You can see the waveform goes completely flat. And conversely, I can still take that output value, turn it all the way up, and the waveform comes back to life. All of this without having to add the plugin to the project. But this gets even cooler. Once you've applied an offline process or an offline plugin, it can be turned into a favorite button for later use. And the new favorite section not only allows you to store the process chain, it will remember all of the predefined parameter settings. So if I select this other clip, which happens to have a collection of processes which I like, I can save that as a favorite. Now I can select another clip or I can select a huge group of clips, and by clicking the favorite button, the stored processes are instantly applied to all of the selected events. And this lets you apply reoccurring effects in seconds. And another new feature is that you can now load the same effect chain presets that you use in the mix console into the direct offline processing system. You can also access and load any of your track presets And you've noticed this auto apply function. For many applications, such as processing dialog edits, auto apply is a quick way to render standard processes. Applying processes to multiple clips is so fast it feels like real time. And with auto apply, you can edit already applied processes even while playing the project, and it only takes milliseconds to have the result audible. We have to call the police, Albert. No, no, he specifically said no police. How fast can we get our hands on that money? Well, that should be no problem, but, but sending Alice? I have no intention to send Alice. When processing longer clips, such as music files, you may want to preview the process before applying it. And with Nuendo 8.1, preview can even be used with processes already applied. To do this, turn Auto Apply off, then tweak the parameters while using the Audition function. Then, once your changes are complete, you can render those changes by pressing the Apply button. Finally, in version 8.1, it's now possible to add a tail to the end of selected events. Now, this is good for processes that extend the sound, such as reverbs or echoes. Simply set the tail size in milliseconds. Then you can enjoy a natural sounding decay when using time-based effects.